is an extra bonus. Now, you see this picture right now you're looking at in space? You're thinking it's space? It's not. It was created by these guys. I'm going to show you who they are. Just hang tight. This is like an extra bonus. All these data. This is all fake. See all these things? All these images from NASA. Nice views of the Cosmo. Don't you always wonder who make them? Who's taking these pictures? This is Robert Curtin, Robert Hurt, and Tim Piley. They the one who make these pictures. They take something that looks like this and turn it to something like this. So all these things were made in the computer. And they come out with these pictures and people think that NASA is taking pictures in space. And these are the two genius guys right there. They get paid big money, big bucks. Just to fool people with all the pictures coming from NASA. Why don't I let you hear from your, from themselves? See? So they got to work like this in the computer. That's how they make these pictures, my friend. Let me see if I can let you hear them. Here we go, coming from the horse's mouth. Here we go. Relatively little data about these. But what we try to do always is create one plausible model that at least does not go against what we know to be true about the system at any given stage. It's a fine balance, creating something imaginative while ensuring the renderings are scientifically accurate. One of the pieces of art I did for the TRAPPIST uh, result was a surface view of planet TRAPPIST-1F. Planet was determined that it was likely tidally locked, so one side always faced the star, one side didn't. So uh, it was also determined that it was fairly low density, which meant uh, um, a greater probability that there could be water on the surface as opposed to just dry rock. We determined that the best plausible look we should illustrate was that the side facing the star would be liquid water and the side facing away would be ice and then at the terminator line you would transition from ice into water which is pretty cool so we thought it would be great to do a surface view so you hear this guy he's saying it's pretty cool so this is all fiction and imaginary thing so you can go to mars you can go to jupiter and pluto in your imagination but it's not real so all these things, it's fake. It's all made in the studio. That's what these guys do. That's their job. All right? So quit believing in all these stuff that people can go to space. I don't know if I'm going to make any more videos to show you this because this is like enough proof to convince you. If this doesn't convince you, you'll never be convinced. So these are the two geniuses that makes all these space videos the uh, Cosmo and heliocentric space where you have all these planets turning, you know, around the sun. It's all fake. All right. If you look up in the morning when the sun is rising, the earth is not turning. It's the sun going to its course above, starting from lower and it goes above at noon. Then around 6 p.m. it goes back down. That's the sun moving. The earth is not moving. It is stationary, as described in the Bible. All right, folks. How much should we push our artwork toward photoreal versus diagrammatic art? I think we tend to move a little more uh, photoreal because there is some emotion in that. Like we can imagine that's a real place out there. Alright guys, this is your lucky night or, or your lucky day. Now, this is one of the astronaut who claimed that he walked on the moon. Now, this guy had an interview with him and asked him to put his hand on the Bible 
and swear that he went to the moon. Now, watch his reaction. Now, he's not the only one. He's also going to try to interview like all the astronauts, Apollo 11, Apollo 7, and all the other guys. Now, you watch what his reaction. Now, if you say you went on the moon, it shouldn't be any problem for you to swear on the Bible that you went there, right? Watch the reaction. I'll let you judge for yourself if this guy really landed on the moon. Here we go. Why don't you just put the into the record in the argument and put your hand on the Bible. Swear to God you walked on the moon. Mr. Yeah. Cyril, knowing you, that's probably a fake Bible. Yeah. Well, you're talking to the wrong guy. Why don't we're you there. talk to the administrator and ask him? We're passengers. We're, we're guys going on a flight. I don't hit people, but you're going to be on the deck. Well, I'm heading out. I'm heading out. Get the hell out of the house. See, this guy is being harassed just because he's looking for the truth. Now, do you really think these guys went on the moon? If they really went on the moon, they would just have to put their hands in the Bible and swear. So that means there's something they are hiding. So people need to wake up out of the sleep. Let's continue with the video, shall we? Okay, well, I hate your stuff and get the fuck out. Why don't you quote me and say it's bullshit? When the shadows in Iraq, I don't give a, I don't give a damn about all that shit. They like it. You're the one who said you walked on the moon when you didn't. Calling the kettle black. I've ever thought of saying I misrepresented myself. Get away from me. You're a coward and a liar and a thief. Did you see that? The guy just got punched in the face just for asking about the truth because we deserve the truth there's a lot of money that was spent on these space whatever shuttle mission there you go he just got punched in the face now you tell me do you think they really landed on the moon i'll let you be the judge of that <laughs> You want me to knock you in the head? Well, I want you to I want you to swear get to God on the Bible that you walked on the moon. Me. Okay. If get you walked me. on the moon, we're given the opportunity to swear to God that you walked on the moon. I'm going to give you the opportunity to get the hell knocked out of you. You don't leave me alone. Watching them lie through their teeth, carrying on yep. a hoax that is so outrageous that they're they're beyond human. They couldn't cover it up. They no, and you, human. You, exactly. You can see on Neil Armstrong, particularly, oh. he, has a, he yeah. doesn't want to lie. This guy just doesn't want to lie. No. He's looking down. He doesn't want to say anything. This is why he didn't give any interviews for the rest of his life. Look at that. Please do look at that, folks. YouTube video <laughs> of the first Apollo. Uh, crew to press come back at uh, a press conference. It is, it's really embarrassing. I mean, it's just embarrassing. It was, the lie was so big that they couldn't, they really couldn't fake it that well. It was too much for them. Mr. Seibel, you do not deserve answers. If you show this publicly, you're open for a lawsuit. Yeah. yeah, right here's fine. I'm Bart with ABC Digital. How you doing? Um, I was given a classified tape from the Apollo program. It's 31 years old. It's an unedited reel, including outtakes from the mission. Uh, it's got about 20 takes of a single shot of the mission. What mission? Apollo 11. Yes. And the photography is being forged in the mission. They're faking a shot of being halfway to the moon. And they refer to you on the tape as a shot that was done during Apollo 10, where you put a transparency over the window and move the camera of the Earth and move the camera back away from the window, turn off the lights in the spacecraft, and appeared to be halfway to the moon when, in fact, they were in Earth orbit. Huh, really? Yeah, and they said it was the same way that you did it on Apollo 10. So we wanted to give you the opportunity to put your left hand on the Bible, to raise your right hand, to swear to God. Stick it in your ear. Well, you were giving an opportunity to swear to God 
under oath that you walked on the moon. I don't do that. Now. Well, if you really walked on the moon, what's the problem of swearing to God that you did? Do you believe in God? You want me to knock you in the head? Well, I want you to I want you to swear to God on the Bible that you walked on the moon. If you walked on the moon, we're given the opportunity to swear to God that you walked on the moon. I'm going to give you the opportunity to get the hell knocked out of you. You don't leave me alone. Collins, Mark Several, ABC Digital. How are you? Good. I'm the gentleman who found the uh, classified tape from your mission of you faking the window shot, putting the transparency over the window when you were supposedly halfway to the moon when in fact you were in Earth orbit. I have no idea what you're talking about. You must be some kind of wacko. Okay, well, we have the opportunity to set the record straight. Well, we're asking you to... I'm not on the record right now. Would we're asking so, you to... Would you please go away? Well, asking you to swear in the Bible that you orbited the moon. Would you please go away? Well, if you really orbited the moon, why won't you swear in the Bible that you did so? Can you tell me why you would have a problem doing that? Would you please go away? You don't remember the shot where you put the transparency over the window? We have it being done up to about 10 hours before they supposedly walked on the moon. So if this guy really went to the moon, why he doesn't want to swear on the Bible? This sounds kind of fishy, doesn't it? I just don't understand why if you orbited the moon, you wouldn't have a problem about swearing the Bible on. Can you tell me why? The reason why, because they never landed on the moon. It was a studio shot. That's what he's trying to tell you. afraid for the truth to come out? I think you're some kind of wacko. I really do. Well, I think it's wacky to not swear to God on something that's supposed to be obvious. Hey, part with ABC Digital. So here's another dude of Apollo 15, Alfred Warden. Let's see what he's going to say. Um, we need to get back to that. Okay. Sign in. One quick question. All right. Uh, I was given a classified. Okay. I was given a classified tape showing part of the Apollo mission being falsified, of lunar orbit being falsified. Being falsified? Correct. We've got an unedited tape from a source at the Johnson Space Center. Yes. Totally nonsense. We want to give you the opportunity to swear in the Bible that you orbited the moon during oh, Apollo 15. Just, okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. See, as soon as you mention swearing in the Bible, everybody jet, man, because they didn't really land on the moon. If people don't get it, they'll never get it. Just one last bit. If you orbit sorry, it, do you have a pro why do you have a problem swearing to God that you did so? Sir, I don't, but I don't feel like I have to do that. Sir. Data speaks for itself. Well, we have proof that the mission was falsified. No, you don't have to. Sir, well, we did. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you, here. Thank you. All right. So I'll let you be the judge after watching this video. Do you really think these guys went to the moon? When pride comes, then comes disgrace. Subscribe, share this video on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and like if you like this video. Share it with your friends. Spread the good news. Peace.